On today's Draw Every Day, we are learning how to make little pumpkin faces using simple office supplies. Draw Every Day with JJK. Well, it's a rainy and dreary day here in Western Massachusetts. So uh, we have brought all of the cameras inside. We're back in the art studio and we're going to have one more episode about pumpkins. You know, Halloween is just a couple days away, unless you're watching this and Halloween just happened, but you can always get ready for next Halloween. But look, I get it. Like we're all super busy. We all have intentions on having these grand days where we're going to be crafting and sipping on pumpkin spice lattes while the leaves just very gently fall from the trees. Yeah, that would be nice. But we're all really stressed out. There's so much going on. Uh, but we still want to find a way to bring some normalcy and fun to Halloween. So I'm going to teach you today how to make little pumpkin faces using just whiteout and Sharpies. This is, you know, you don't have to run to the art supply store. Uh, you could just head out to your local convenience store and head to the office supplies section. Just whiteout and Sharpies and, of course, some pumpkins, which hopefully you can get a hold of some. So to start, I am just going to use this whiteout pen to make eyes on all of my little pumpkins. Whiteout will take just a little bit to dry. I'm not going to use the blow dryer on this. I'll let the whiteout dry on its own. And I'll make several little white circles some will be really close to one another. Some will be very spread out. Some will be large, some will be small. Too much weight out on that one. So let's see how we can just go with it. Remember, there's no such thing as a mistake only changes in your course of action when you're making art. Maybe some of my pumpkins will be a cyclops with just one eye. And I love heading to the pumpkin patch and finding all different kinds of shapes. I especially love that stem. Look at that stem. It's a beauty. That is a beauty. Now, while the whiteout dries on those orange pumpkins, I also picked up a few white pumpkins. Now, one of my lessons was all about drawing, or painting rather, a skull, a skeleton, on a white pumpkin. Now, as fun as it is to do with paint, I know that can be messy and we don't all have the time or the setup or wherewithal to do that, but also if you just take a thick Sharpie Again, you can make that little smile and just have some lines come like so. And draw the eyes. I'm going to leave a small bit of the actual color of that white pumpkin to be the pupil.
me check in with some of the very first pumpkins that I put white oak on. It's going to give it a little tap. And if no white oak comes off on my fingers, it is good to go. I'm going to switch to a smaller Sharpie and going to breathe a little life into these pumpkins by giving them pupils. That one has a little face. I love it. <laughs> I, I did not plan that out, but I'm very happy with how that turned out. Okay, let's make some room for other pumpkins here with a cyclops. It feels a little bit wet still. Let's try this one. Good. Okay. Give this one a squiggly smile. This one cross-eyed. Two eyes are looking at each other. Look at him! <laughs> I love it! I love it! I'm going to make this one uh, wall-eyed. Wall-eyed means when the eyes are going in opposite directions. So the opposite cross-eyed. like I did not, that whiteout was not as dry as I hoped. It's okay. okay I my marker. And I want to give this one a big, broad smile. So I'm going to come in here with a really thick Sharpie. <laughs> I love that guy. I love that guy. I want to be his friend. All right, who else needs eyes? Who else? You need eyes. And you need eyes. Let me see here. This, this one looks like an angry, evil one. And so I'm going to draw the pupils right on top of the eyes like that. And you know what, at first I thought he was evil, now he just sort of looks unamused. So instead of a scowl, I'm just going to have the mouth come straight across like that. <laughs> he, this one can't even. That pumpkin's like, I See, oh, this one over here, he needs one too. This is the one where I put too much white out and it got all melty. I'm going to have the character look up. This one uh, is an, looks like an alien, like a cyclops. What a happy cyclops! Hi guys. Hello. And you know what? They all got little, they all got little personalities here, didn't they? Here we go. Oh, hey guys. Hey, we gonna play too? We gonna hang out? Hi, I'm gonna play too. Hey, what's going on? Hi, uh, everybody. Oh, this guy, I gave this guy eyebrows. Maybe I'll give some of the other ones eyebrows. I, I can't even. Eyebrows, no eyebrows. 
What, what is it? What is it even matter? All right, so, so there we have it. A simple and easy way to make pumpkins again. White out and some Sharpies. That's all you need. And uh, we're going to uh, sneak out tonight under the cover of darkness and plant these on the front porches of friends and neighbors. I hope that you have an awesome Halloween. It's gonna look different this year, but I hope that you find so much joy and absurdity in the holiday. Uh, I hope that you make some pumpkins. Take a look at the awesome pumpkins that folks sent in. Happy Halloween. Please click like and subscribe and keep drawing. See you soon.